today I want to talk about the clever cartoon paws in Boots and the funny Cheshire cat in Alice in Wonderland means British cat. So follow me to the end. In terms of origin, as it is clear from the name of this cat, it has British origins. But according to historical documents, it hasn't been like this from the beginning. The old breed of this cat belongs to the country of Italy and apparently has a large size, woolly and thick skin. About 300 years ago, some of these cats gradually spread in different parts of Europe, especially England. Mating of the old breed with wild and native English cats led to the creation of the British cat. After several decades, an English breeder made changes in the cat genes to make its characteristics more specific. After taking the final result, this country created the modern British breed and introduced it uh, as a poor breed English cat. This beautiful cat is available in two types, long hair and short hair. In terms of size, temperament and even facial expression, there is no difference between these two models. The only difference is the size of the hair. The British cat has a relatively large size and its weight is between 4 and 7.5 kilogram in males and between 3 and 5.5 kilogram in females. The lifespan of this cat is different between 12 to 17 years old. Other features of this cute cat include its big head, big eyes, triangular ears, fleshy and hairy legs, round paws and broad chest. The British short hair cat, as its name suggests, has short hair and is classified as a short hair cat. And according to their place of origin, which is England, they are also known as English short haired cats. Short hair cats are older than their long hair counterparts. The British cat is very beautiful in appearance. He has a broad chest, strong legs, round paws, and a relatively short tail, which which together make him look very powerful and cute. The British cat has a big head, plump cheeks and lips uh, that will make anyone wants to squeeze their lips. Big and round eyes, short uh, chin and cute and uh, pointed triangular ears are other features of this lovely pet. Uh, and, uh, he or she has a velvety hair. The reason is that the legs of these cats are shorter than uh, their bodies. They can't be tall and always have a round and chubby appearance. Coat like skin and the density of hair makes its body velvety and very soft. Long hair breed is a very attractive combination of pretty short hair with Persian uh, coat mm, cat which made the English cat uh, hair longer and its appearance more royal. This English cat has more than uh, 30 different colors, but the colors are gray, golden, silver, cream brown, and white. Its gray color is more famous than others. In general, the British cat is known as a calm animal. This cat likes to spend most of the day resting and doesn't show much movement. In terms of behavior, it's also very tasteful and lovable, but it's not very interested in huging and petting. The nature of this uh, cat is searching like its uh, ancestors who were snake and mouse hunters. If you spend a lot of time working outside the house, you don't, uh, uh, you don't need to worry about your cat at all because the British breed like a quiet environment and loneliness doesn't bother him much. They are loved by their owners and are loved by animal trainers. They also like to be around other pets and children, but as a rule, they don't like to be picked up or moved. These cats require minimal grooming and do well as indoor cats. However, they can be prone to obesity and care must be taken in their diet. 
Unlike its close breed Scottish, the British is considered a healthy cat and genetic diseases occur less in them. However, this breed is susceptible to some diseases which include cardiomyopathy disease, cystitis disease, and hyperthyroidism which we will describe fully later. Well, dear friends, please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel because with your membership, you will be informed when my new videos are uploaded to the YouTube channel. Please introduce my channel to other veterinary students and interested people and don't exclude me from your comments. In the next session, hopefully we will go to the Abyssinian cat. Until then, don't be tired.